Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Traveler. I'm here in Italy. I'm with my wife. It's our 25th wedding anniversary, and we're taking in all the amazing sights and smells and sounds from Tuscany all the way to Rome and to Venice and to Florence, enjoying all the incredible food. So much food. It's everywhere. I will be doing a video on that uh, in the next couple of weeks as well. But there's also so much beautiful wine. Oh, the wine was so great. And that'll be another video. But today we are in Rome. We are going to the Vatican. But the first part of this Vatican trip is we're going to go visit the Vatican Museum. Now, the entrance to this is on the outside. And yes, the walls really do look like that. Just like the movie Mission Impossible 3. So this museum was the personal collection of the popes for many Many, many centuries and it was recently opened up in the last few hundred years to the public and over the course of the last couple hundred years it has become more and more open to the public so the tour starts with the famous pine cone courtyard and that features some really cool old art but also some modern art this is called a sphere within a sphere it was presented to the Pope back in 1926 when it was installed and both spears actually do spin um, we just couldn't get the middle one spinning you can actually walk up and spin this yourself it's kind of a, a cool way to start it's it's one of the newer pieces in the collection so the best way to experience this is on a guided tour and there's lots of different guided tours available for the mat the vatican museum and you really do want to see it because there's so much incredible detail on this so i'm just going to let you kind of enjoy this for just a few minutes and then i'll step back and come back in just a second so enjoy this brief quick little tour of this part of the vatican museum We have now reached the grand finale of the Vatican Museum tour. Of course, it is the Sistine Chapel. Now, this is probably one of the most famous places in all of the Catholic Church. It is where the Pope is elected by the College of Cardinals. This chapel was completed in 1512 by Michelangelo. Now, photography and actually talking is completely forbidden in the chapel. So, these images you see, I took of the sign that's outside in the pine cone courtyard. But it gives you a chance to enjoy some of the breathtaking artwork that is all up in the ceiling and the walls of the Sistine Chapel. It really is a wonderful way to conclude this visit. And then the last part as you leave the chapel is you head out to the famous bronze staircase that spirals back to the ground floor entry. And from there you can actually exit to St. Peter's and begin that part of the tour. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Make sure to stop in next time on Adventures in Italy when we head down to full or up to Florence for the Duomo, the very famous cathedral that you've seen in a million movies. That's next up on Adventures in Italy. This is Doug, the Two Minute Traveler, saying please click that like button and subscribe to get more of my videos on both Italy and, of course, my famous garden videos. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.